do you believe that we should have a review commission a la the 9-11 commission, not sitting congressional members who take a look at all the decisions made during the pandemic for both administrations uh, to see what was right, what was wrong and what needs to be different? You know, Chris, I think it would be useful. And the reason I say that is there's been so much credibility lost uh, in the public uh, uh, science groups, NIH, FDA, CDC, um, because I think there was a, a lack of really just transparency. One of the things I used to tell my colleagues, uh, don't be afraid to say you don't know the answer. And all too often people would make up the answer. And as you know, those of us that tried to suggest there may be significant side effects from vaccines, we kind of like got canceled because no one wanted to talk about the potential that there was a problem from the vaccines because they were afraid that that would cause people not to want to get vaccinated. The reality is I was part of Warp Speed. These are important vaccines. We saved a lot of lives. They're important for the most vulnerable people, those over 65, 60, 65 years of age. Uh, they really aren't that critical for those of, that are under 50 or younger. And But those vaccines saved a lot of lives, but they're also, we have to be honest, uh, some people, uh, got significant side effects from the vaccine. I have a number of people that are quite ill uh, and they never had COVID, but they are ill from the vaccine. And we just have to acknowledge that. Dr. Fauci, do you still support funding of the NIH funding of the lab in Wuhan? Senator Paul, with all due respect, you are entire, entirely and completely incorrect that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain of function research in the Wuhan Institute. Do they fund of Dr. Barrick? Uh, Dr. Tabak. Did NIH fund gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology through Echo Health? It depends on your definition of gain-of-function research. If you're speaking about the generic term, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Because, but this is research, the generic term, is research that goes on in many, many labs around the country. It is not regulated. And the reason it's not regulated is it poses no threat or harm to anybody.